For the last couple of weeks, a tinfoil hat theory matriculated through the fan base that if the Denver Broncos were going to have any veteran opt out of the 2020 season due to the pandemic, it would be right tackle Jawan James. Call it a self-fulfilling prophecy of sorts, I guess, but it came true. James has opted out of the 2020 season. Obviously, this puts the Broncos in a less than ideal situation at right tackle. Instead of competing with Garrett Bowles for the left tackle job, Elijah Wilkinson, who recently returned from the physically unable to perform list, is likely to be the Broncos starter at right tackle. Wilkinson started 12 games at right tackle for the Broncos last year to lackluster results. The Broncos have four other viable tackle options on the roster currently in Jake Rogers, Calvin Anderson, Quinn Bailey, and also undrafted rookie from Central Arkansas, Hunter Watts. As it stands, I would expect two of those four tackles to make the Broncos 53-man roster. It'll be a bitter fight this summer in training camp, and with no preseason snaps with which to evaluate, it'll make the decision difficult for the coaches. It's doubtful James's opt-out will garner the high-risk designation, but the lowest figure for opted-out players is $150,000, but keep in mind, it's an advance on their future salary. High-risk designated opt-outs get a $350,000 stipend. James can afford to make less this year than an individual game check because he received $17 million from the Broncos between his signing bonus and guaranteed base salary when he signed as a prize free agent in March of 2019. James went on to appear in just 63 snaps in year one, and now he's choosing to forego year two, leaving the team that has invested big bucks into him in the lurch. The NFLPA will zealously protect players who opt out, but I can't imagine James's decision is going to land well with GM John Elway. Nevertheless, the Broncos are locked into James for 2021 due to the remaining guaranteed money on his deal, but that doesn't eliminate the possibility of a trade post-2020. James released a statement on Monday wherein he postured and railed against the quote, false narrative, close quote, surrounding his reputation and 2019 season while also citing the recent birth of his son and, ostensibly, the lack of clarity in the NFL's plan, in James' estimation anyway. His parting message to Broncos country? Quote, health is wealth. Close quote. See you next year, Juwan. For Mile High Huddle and Sports Illustrated, I'm Chad Jensen.